So today I'm going to show you how to replace the plug on, this is a, a heater unit uh, that was in my grandmother's house that it got yanked out of the wall. Um, and as you can see, the insulation's pulled back. So we are going to replace that with a new plug. As you're cutting through the outer jacket, you want to be careful that you don't cut through the conductor. So just go gentle, nice easy score, and then break it away. And if you need to cut back some more, you can. All right, on the underside of the plug here, are three screw-on terminals. The copper is goes to your black wire, the silver goes to your white wire, which is your neutral, and then your ground goes to the last wire over there. I'm going to use this auto stripper tool that I got, the Klein, uh, it's a Klein auto stripper. And with these, you want to make sure you don't strip them too, too far back. The terminals don't give you a lot of space and you don't want extra copper. Also, just a note, before you make those terminations, you want to take the back side of the plug and put it onto the cord first. Otherwise, you get everything done and you have to take it all apart and redo it. As you terminate each one of these, you just want to make sure that you don't leave a lot of copper bare here and you want to make sure that the insulation doesn't end up under a little terminal here. So there's all three terminations made. No insulation underneath the connectors. Oh, except for, I see here, see these few loose strands? We're gonna redo that because you don't want any loose strands like that hanging out. So there we go. That's the redone termination. No loose strands. We will take the uh, sleeve here and slide it back up on. There. If it's lined up to tab right, it couples right down in. Tighten these screws back down. And the last thing you want to do is tighten down this clamp right here to tighten down on to the cable. There's your completed new plug. All right, so the plug's all plugged in and the heater is turned on. Uh, if you're interested in any of these tools, I have links in the description below. Um, check them out uh, if you're interested or need to do this project. Have a great day.